after moving on from the national highways we also have the state highways the regions of the district headquarters connecting them to the state capital the national highways are connecting state capitals to the national capital whereas coming to state highways from the district headquarters to the state capital these are maintained by the state public works department in every state and moving on to the next district roads these district roads are maintained by the jilla parishad district roads are connecting the main headquarters of the district to the other towns and villages that is called district roads and we also have many other kinds of roads like village roads and the border roads and all these roads the other important category of roads what we have is the border roads the border roads are maintained by the border road development organization of government of india which was started in 1960 and we have this in the north and the northeastern states where the frontiers of india are been having border roads which has been a very very complicated issue in the past 20 years because we need to have a good clear demarcation of the road and the border issues also so that's why the border roads are been maintained from 1960 and coming to the categorization of the roads the roads are generally categorized on their basic nature how are they made or how are they built the roads are categorized into metal and the unmetal roads metal roads are the roads which are built with cement concrete and these are very strong roads and useful in the all weather climatic conditions so a transport of road can be possible through these metal roads in the summer season in the rainy season and in the winter season well as coming to the roads of this unmetal roads unmetal roads are used only in the summer season and in the winter season where they are not good or fit to use in the rainy season they cannot be used in any rainy season because they are not done with cement or concrete or the bitumen of coal so it cannot be able to do it in the rainy season because the mud roads and all get spoiled because of the heavy rains and then moving on to the understanding the density density is generally we calculate for 1 square kilometer of region number of people live is called the density of population but when you talk about the road density the length of the road laid for every 100 square kilometers is called national road density the road density also varies from one state to the other state because we all know that the topographical conditions are different from one state to the other state for example in jammu and kashmir it is only 10 kilometers per 100 while it comes to the other regions we have in kerala we have 375 kilometers where it is very less in jammu and kashmir very high in kerala even the national average has been calculated that is 75 kilometers is the national average for every 100 kilometers but still we need many number of national highways uh, the roads which we have in our cities are also very old roads and they are almost always congested with the heavy traffic we need to have new bridges new culverts which need to be rebuilt almost all the bridges and the culverts what we have today are the old ones and which need to be replaced as soon as possible so in this way roadways are also having some changes to be required and national highways more number of national highways have to be built so the road transport yes it is very less affordable cost it can do door to door service loading and unloading is at very less cost but still we need to have more number of national highways we need to have more number of transport facilities we need to have more number of bridges and also flyovers so that the transportation gets easy and people do not get struck in the traffic that's from the roadways now let's move on to the railways if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus